Okay, hi guys. I'm here to discuss you uh, how to conduct an experiment with Dayak under the topic Thai Restores. And for now, uh, what will be the objective of the experiment is to determine the characteristic curve of the Dayak. So I'm going to be using a uh, multisim uh, this program for us to conduct the experiment. So I have set up a circuit here using the available DIAC in this uh, program. So uh, where can you see the DIAC? It's under diodes. And uh, you, you can see all other thyristors which you can use in this uh, application program uh, which includes SCR, DIAC, and TRIAC. So I selected here the first uh, part number under DIAC which is the 1N 5758 so uh, I connected the circuit using a voltage supply a DC voltage supply anometer for the anode current a resistor representing the load and then a voltmeter across the DIAC to determine the voltage across anode and cathode so uh, by plotting the voltage versus current which will be determined during our experiment we will be able to see what uh, the figure looks like for the characteristic curve of this diac so I initially set the first voltage to 1 volt uh, let us turn on the circuit so as you can see at 1 volt the equivalent voltage across the diac is 0.984 volt. So this means the diac is actually off. And it provides a very small leakage current of 0.666 microampere. Now let's gradually increase the, the voltage supply in order to determine what level of voltage could this diac turn on. Let's initially set or increment it to 1.2 volt. Turn this on again. Okay, at 1.2 volt, it's the, the diac still turned off. It is still at 1.81 volt. So this is still at forward blocking region with a very small uh, anode current. Let me increment this further at 1.8 volt. Let's turn on the circuit again. At 1.8 volt, the equivalent voltage across the diac is 1.771 volt. And it's still a very small current of 1.11 microampere. So still, the diac is off. Let's turn off the circuit simulation. Let's increase this to 2 volt. So it's now 2 volts. Turn on. <coughs> Now, the, the equivalent voltage across the diac has significantly lower down. It is now 0 0.469 volt. And we have now a relatively larger current, 0 0.076 milliamps. So this means the diac is already turned on. And if we will increase the voltage supply, so let's increase this to 2.4 volts. As we increase the voltage supply, the voltage across the diac is uh, already almost constant. And the current passing through the circuit is increasing, aligned with the increase in the voltage supply. So let's try again 3 volts. So at 3 volts, is still almost constant at 0.48 volts and a relatively higher anode current because of the higher voltage supply. Now, if we will plot the circuit based on what we have uh, recorded a while ago, uh, this is the equivalent characteristic curve of the diac at the forward bias region. So initially, a very small current and the voltage of the supply is equal to the voltage across the diac. Then suddenly, between 1.8 to 2 volts, it turned on and provide a higher current. 
And the voltage across the diac is significantly lower, which is less than 0.5 volt. If we will now check the negative voltage supply, let's make this at negative 1 volt supply. Then turn on again. Remember, the diac will also conduct at the negative side. But at negative 1 volt, the diac is open. Similar to what we have achieved on the positive 1 volt. Let's make this negative 1.8. Okay, at negative 1.8, the diac is still off. The voltage drop is negative 1.7. Let's increase it a little bit uh, with a negative 1.9 volt. Okay, at negative 1.9, the diac is still off. The drop is around negative 1.87. Now, let's uh, make this negative 2. Similar to the positive side, this should already turn on. Okay, it already, it already turned on and the voltage drop is at uh, negative 0 0.469 and the current is already at the uh, significantly higher level so that means that the characteristic of this diac at the negative side is also similar to what we have on the positive side let me check negative 3 volts so at negative 3 volts the drop is negative 0 0.482 and the current is negative 0 0.126 now if we will combine the characteristics from the forward and the reverse bias, we will be able to achieve this plot of the curve. And this is the, the, the characteristic curve of a diac. So that's all.